What do we really want to accomplish in a perfect takeaway? We would like to have our body and our chest rotating quite a bit early in the backswing. That's going to help us to make a bigger shoulder turn and get more power. I'd also like to have the club working fairly well on plane. So as I'm coming back, I want this club to be working up plane. That way it makes it easier to be consistent in the golf swing. If I drag the club way back inside, my tendency is going to be to reroute it over the top. Or if I pick the club way back out of here, I may loop it back to inside too much. So if we can get the good shoulder turn, we can get the club working back on plane. That's going to be a pretty daggone good takeaway. If we can add in a third piece there as a, as a result of this to get a nice weight shift to the right, things are really going to get easy in the golf swing. So I'm going to break this down for you. I have a very unique drill. We're going to go through 20 reps at a time. If you follow along with this, it's going to help you to make your takeaway so much more consistent and become automatic. Let's go and get started. All right, so let's jump right into these drills and start ingraining this. The great thing is you can do these right from your living room. You don't have to go to the driving range and you can start building a better swing. So first, let's get the feel of the proper rotation of my chest. So if I grab my ribs to the side here, as I finish my takeaway, I'd like to have my ribs rotated about 45 degrees. So again, it's that early move off the ball, that early rotation of the upper body. That's gonna help us to get what we call the power turn as we complete the back swing and we make this good full shoulder turn all the way to the top. That starts right from the beginning, the first move off the ball. So feel your ribs rotating here until you're about 45 degrees rotated. You'll notice when you do this, you get a little slight weight shift, a little pressure on the inside of your foot as you're doing this. And you'll feel like your arms, definitely my arms aren't doing anything here, but even in the golf swing, I'm feeling like my arms aren't doing much at all in this very early part. Now, as I add a club to this, Again, I'm just rotating my rib cage and I let my arms swing back as they will. I'm, I'm not really doing much with them. My right arm is staying fairly loose and relaxed and straight. My wrists are staying fairly relaxed. Not much going on there. And if I just rotate my ribs, that's gonna kind of bring this club back in this position. So I'm just letting that club kind of flow back into that position. I'm not trying to manipulate anything. I'm not trying to set anything into a perfect spot. I'm just letting the rotation of my body kind of guide that club into that general area. And when that happens, you'll see I'm pretty nice on plane here. I've had a good weight shift to the right. That's really good. Now let's do this the wrong way. Now we're not gonna move our ribs at all. So instead of rotating, I'm just gonna stay dead still and imagine me taking this club back with just my hands and arms and trying to put it in the right spot. I don't have the momentum of my body. My arms are kind of moving around in different spots every time. I really don't have the, the tempo and the the smoothness to it that I would if I'm rotating my big pieces of my body. So when I just do my arms and don't rotate my ribs, now I'm having to place this club in the perfect spot every time. And it's really hard to do and I just don't have a flow to this. So start to feel both of those, the correct way and the incorrect way. And then I want you to do 20 reps where you just focus on the rotation of your rib cage and let that club flow into place. Go ahead and do a good 20 reps from there. And then we'll move on to the next piece of the perfect takeaway. So now let's pick up where we left off and talk about those elbows again. Now, if I do this properly, you'll notice that my elbows are staying in front of my body. So if I just have my, a club kind of under my elbows as I rotate back, my elbows are on this side of my body and I'm just letting those be nice and soft. So again, if we look at the correct way to do this again, finishing here with my clubs parallel, look how my elbows are kind of in front of my body. They're not moving around a ton. That's the correct way of doing this. Let's do 20 reps doing it the correct way and the incorrect way. So the incorrect way would be, again, letting my elbows slide across my body. Now you'll see this right elbow has come way back. I'm doing a lot of wrist and arm action. I can pull this club in a variety of different directions if I start engaging those elbows. So the correct way, again, elbows soft, keep them in front of your body, and just let the momentum of your body guide that club back versus trying to place that by moving your arms around a variety of ways. So let's do 20 total reps. Feel the good way and the bad way first. Very little elbow movement versus a ton of elbow movement so you can feel the difference and then do 20 reps really feeling like the again the momentum of your torso is guiding this club back the weight shift to the right is guiding the club back you're not trying to manipulate it very much so we talked about the ribs we talked about the elbows now let's move out farther down the chain to the hands now what i most of the time see players doing when they're trying to get all these angles really nice and everything perfect and moving their body just right is they get really tight with the hands and if you get tight with the hands, the tendency is to start to pick this club up with the hands, to jerk the backswing, and to really get your tempo all blown out of the water right from the start. 
What I want you to feel here is as I set up, I want my hands to be extremely soft on this club, like I'm barely holding on to it. And as I rotate my ribs and rotate my body to get this club moving back, my hands are gonna remain really soft there. I'm gonna go ahead and let the club flow into position. I'm not gonna to try to guide it into position. I'm just gonna let it come back and through. Imagine it's kind of working up a plane of glass here, and I'm just letting it rock back and through on that plane of glass. If the club wants to open a little bit, as it naturally will, the club face wants to open, I'm gonna let that happen. Again, I'm not trying to manipulate or guide the club. I'm letting it do what it wants to do. When I see players that are trying to control the club, they'll have the hands tight, and they'll wanna bring this club back just perfectly on this certain angle that they've pictured in their mind of being right. Don't let that happen. Go ahead and let the club do whatever it wants. There's players with the club a little shut that play fantastic golf that have won on the PGA Tour. There's players with the club a little bit open that have played fantastic golf and won on the PGA Tour. So don't worry about that. Get more of the rhythm and the feel of the swing so we have this nice takeaway. I want you to do 20 total reps, soft hands, let the club work back nice and easy, and it's gonna take a lot of the stress out and getting you really loading up the body in the proper way.